Today I'm going to show you some different patterns you can create with water marbling. There will be a few more of these pattern videos coming out in the following weeks because I can't fit them all into one video, so keep an eye out for those. I will be using your color suggestions to create these patterns, so if you want to see your colors in my future videos, make sure to leave me a comment below. I'm using my glass candle holder with a 5cm diameter opening. I'm using room temperature tap water to fill the glass all the way to the top. Then have all the nail polish colors opened and ready to drip. For our first pattern, I'm using rainbow colors. I used the same exact colors I did in my rainbow water marble video, so thanks again to those that suggested this color combination. Once you're adding your last drop of nail polish, use a small dotting tool or an orange stick and anchor the outer rings to the sides to prevent the nail polish from moving around. You can run your stick along the rim of the cup to close up any gaps you may have. Starting from the second or third ring in, drag lines towards the center of the cup. Do this from all four directions. Dip your stick when you get to the middle to create a clean point. Have a nail wipe handy to wipe off the tip of the stick if the nail polish starts to build up. This pattern is also good for St. Patrick's Day if you want to use green nail polishes to create a shamrock design. Once you have your pattern ready, a good way to determine which part of the pattern will make a good design on your nails, you can create a little cardboard cutout similar size to your fingernail to help you get a better picture. Move it over the pattern and find a spot you like. Prepare your nail, dip it into the water and hold it there. Slightly blow onto the water to dry out the remaining nail polishes and scoop them out using a Q-tip. Once the coast is clear, take your nail out. If you want to see this process applied onto a real finger, check out my last two water marble tutorials for more step-by-step -step instructions. If you stick around to the end of this video, you will find out what I plan on doing with these fake nails. For the second pattern, I'm using blue, black and white, suggested by Callistas and Faith Victoria. I'm going to go by the order of blue, white and then black. Now every nail polish is different. My white nail polish just happens to create a very thick ring, so I only needed one drop. If you like this design and want to recreate this exact same pattern and your nail polish doesn't come out as thick, you can do two or three drops of the same color to build up the thickness and opacity of your rings before moving on to the next color. What I'm trying to do here is to create a design using only a couple of rings of nail polish. You will see in a little bit that the first two rings will not be part of the design. What will be part of the design will be the last five drops. Black, blue, white, blue, black. The final drop should be a decent size. If it's too small, you might end up losing the color while creating your pattern. Starting from the middle and drag four lines towards the edge of the cup following the numbering from the pattern map I created. Then drag four lines in between those lines towards the center of the cup to create this design. Can you see that all the colors are symmetrical because I reversed the last two colors in the middle? This is a perfect pattern for creating flowers or leaf designs. Have a look through the cutout. You can probably find some good spots to dip your nails in. I actually really like how this pattern turned out. It looks simple but also kind of unique for a water marble design because we used fewer rings to create it. Alternatively, if you used different colors and added more rings to your design and repeated the same exact 8 steps we just did, it will end up looking a lot different as you can see here compared to our blue design. There's really so many combinations of colors and patterns you can create with water marbling. Every design can be as unique as the next one, which is pretty awesome. For the third pattern, we are using yellow, pink and orange to create a sunset look. This color combo was suggested by Emerald Tiger and Nat Mackenzie Shannon. Thank you for your suggestions. I decided to go with neon colors, so I hope that's okay. 
starting with the same four lines as the previous design, dragging four lines towards the edge of the cup. Then make a giant swirl towards the middle of the cup starting from the outer rings. When you get to the center, dip the tip to create a clean point. And then take a peek through your little cutout and I'm gonna stick the nail in right here. When you take them out, you will get this beautifully layered sunset color design. This is a great one for summer guys, hope you can give it a try. This next pattern was created using blue and gold, suggested by Marvel and Paradise. You can see that the gold is not a very dense color, so be careful when you drag across them. They break easily. If you have trouble getting your nail polish to spread, run the stick along the rim of the cup to help open them up. Starting in the middle, drag curved lines towards the edge of the cup. Then in between those curved lines, drag straight lines towards the center of the cup. If any of you watches Naruto, this design reminds me of the QB, nine-tailed fox, but with less tails, so maybe like a Yombi, four-tailed fox. I'm just going to stick my nail right in the middle here, and this is how the pattern came out. Sometimes with glitter and shimmer colors like this gold nail polish I used, they only show up as a subtle color when used for water marbling. So for this design, a white base coat would help to make the colors more vibrant looking. For our final pattern today, we are using pink, purple and blue, suggested by Designer Nails 25. Look how pretty these colors are. Once you have a few rings ready, drag your stick from the top straight through to the bottom. Without doing anything more, you can totally create some cool designs from anywhere along that line you just did. But we're going to do one more thing here and that is to add a big swirl towards the center of the cup. Once you get to the middle, dip your stick to mark your point. You can turn the cup into a more convenient angle to dip your nails in and when you take them out, voila! Welcome to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory! So now that we have created all these beautiful designs, let's not waste them just because we did them onto some fake nails. If you have nail glue or some double-sided nail stickers, you can stick them on your nails for an instant manicure. They're ready when you are ready to wear them. These double-sided nail stickers are strong and flexible, so it will keep your nails on for at least a few days. Then you can soak them in hot water to remove them without harming your nails. Store your design in a safe place and use them again for next time. If you like this video, please rate it, share it, and add it to your favorite playlist. Please subscribe for updates, I upload new videos every Thursday. You can also find me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Thank you for watching, you can click on a link to see another video.